All right, here we are, round three. Uh, interesting. This is good. Um, we have two burial rites. We have two unburial rites, some mulches. Hopefully we can get some stuff in the graveyard. I mean, it's not the greatest hand in the world. But we, we don't have four have of our colors already, so... Right, we don't have any <laughs> way to get these guys out of our hand and into the graveyard, <coughs> but I don't think we can mulligan. Yeah, it's, it's too good. If there was no mulch, it'd be a mulligan, probably. But yeah. Since there is a mulch. Wow, our opponent mulligans again. Good All luck right. over there. Gwent Hawk, no. Okay, Ancient Good. Nice. Good draw. Alright, you can go. Next turn we'll probably play Mountain, and then Mulch. Bulb Scourge, you got right. it. No land. <laughs> Excellent. That's always a good sign, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't seen a Tempered Steel out of him yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> he probably has them. Yeah, he obviously has them. My just money been them. would be on him having them. Alright, we'll Mulch here. I don't think he's ever gotten to enough mana to have one. Nice, we got another Ancient Grudge in the graveyard. This is very good. We could actually just blow up his entire board next turn. That'd be cool. Alright, oh, we can discard. Perfect. Yeah, let's get rid of one of those barrel rights. Um, well, we have eight cards in hand. Yeah, I guess we get rid of an barrel rights. Since casting Worm Coil Engine is not out of the question, and we can hopefully get a creature in the graveyard mm -hmm. very quickly. I mean, if we have nothing else to do next turn, we may just Ancient Grudge his board away. Yeah. Especially, I mean, we can get rid of this before he draws a card, too. Yeah, that'd be good. Alright, Flare of the Hatebound. Um, mm. So, how are we going to get this stuff in our... The only thing we have is Tracker's Instinct. Hmm. Maybe we just Tracker's Instinct, Ancient Grudge the Spellbomb? That might have been a bad idea. Can we? <laughs> we have these two lands that come into play on tap. We need green. We need green. We need double green. No, I don't think we can do that. Because we need green to flashback Ancient Grudge. Yeah. Um, and we need to get some cards in our graveyard. Uh, what do you think we do here, Abby? Um, I'm not sure. I know you need to drop a land. I mean, it's, it just doesn't seem I like a good move to wait until the end of the turn. And I think we'll Tracker's Instinct. Okay. I just... I mean, we could Ancient Grudge a bunch of stuff, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. We just... I want to get one of our guys down. Yeah. Another Flare. All right. <coughs> so this is the unfortunate part about Tracker's Instinct, is that you have to put a creature in your hand. Yeah. It's not always what you want to be doing. All right, well, we'll, we'll like just... like to discard a few, too. Yeah, we'll play Evolving Wilds here, and... Sega. I think we'll just get a forest with really? this. Well, because we have uh, white, blue, black, red, green. And oh, we true. Need, we need more forest so we can cast Ancient Grudge, Ancient Grudge. Okay. We do have to watch out because if he has a land next turn, then he'll be at the magical three where he can just drop um, we can drop Tempered Steel. Tempered Steel, yeah. And suddenly it's a whole different game. Yeah. Glendhawk Idol. Alright, let's get a forest. That'll help more lands come into play untapped as well, mm -hmm. if we draw them. Faithless Looting! Nice. Nice. Okay. So, if we can Faithless Loot away Worm Coil Engine and Flare, and then next turn we can Unbarrel Rights them, and we can Ancient Grudge something. Yep. If we go Faithless with Red, then we can... Ancient Grudge? Yeah, okay, so we can go Faithless, Ancient Grudge, Ancient Grudge. Yep. Drop, drop the Skull. Yeah, we'll drop, we'll drop Dragon Skull. Unless we draw something better. I don't think we will. <laughs> we'll see. Yep, you were right. Alright, so <laughs> let's get rid of Warm Coil, Coil and Flare. Okay. And drop Dragon Skull. Nice. Alright, go ahead. We could have played Avacyn's Pilgrim. Well, the quite, I mean, do we play Avacyn's Pilgrim, or do we do double Ancient Grudge? Oh, true. Um, I well, go if we do double. Avacyn's Pilgrim, the next turn we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. Mm -hmm. And we are going to flashback in Burial Rites. I mean, mm -hmm. it doesn't really give us that much extra. Yeah, just, I just go with the double um, yeah. Ancient Grudge. I mean, if he drops Tempered Steel, then we could be in a ton of trouble. So that's what I'm kind of worried about. Oh, and he does.
doesn't have a white. Double white. Nice. Yeah, it does have the township, though. That's kind of a pain. You edge champion. Yuck. Alright, well, we can handle that. Yep. We'll just kill Vault Scourge and Glenhawk, I think. Okay. So that way we can slowly whittle down his, um... His metal craft. True. Bam. See you later, Glenhawk. And bam. Right in the Oops. <laughs> I'm bad at this game sometimes. A little bit. Okay. It's okay, though. I forgive you. Thank you. I'm sure viewers forgive you. Eh, some of them do. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. Yep. Alright, so next time... <laughs> We can hard cast on burial rights, but nah, I don't know if we want to do that. So we take two here. We can, if when we get back Worm Coil Engine, then we can block Edge Champion. So that's a consideration. Mm. That is true. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. We have it. Just Ray of Revelation. Yeah. All right. So no need to we're gonna have to really screw up to lose at this point. So. Do we get Flare of the Hatebound, and then we can kill Vault Scourge, and then next turn we can unbury your rights. A, and when we have Flare out, we can unbury your rights Worm Coil, and then oh, that deals six damage. Face. I think yeah, that's, I think that's a, probably the best way to go. That's a good idea. All right, so let's unbury your rights. I can't believe this is a five color deck. Flare, yeah, it's awesome. I can't believe it's actually working a little bit. It works most of the time. Yoink. Alright, so we'll kill Vault Scourge here. Just so that we don't die. Now his Edge Champion only barely has Metalcraft. We must be watching that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could grudge one of his artifacts. Yeah, we will at some point. And next turn we again Barrio writes the Worm Coil, whack him or something threatening for six. Mm -hmm. Probably just whack him, I would assume. Yeah, we can't block. So why doesn't that life like anymore? Alright, so if we unburial rights, the worm coil whack him for six. If something goes terribly wrong and he dispatches our worm coil engine, we have no blockers, then we take one, two, three, four, five next turn. Yeah, that should be fine anyway. Yeah, we're good. Worst comes to worst if that happens. So we unburial rights the worm coil. Yep. Uh, what are we gonna do after this? One, two, three, four. I guess cast Pilgrim. Yeah, cast so Pilgrim and get some more. And keep uh, Ancient Grudge up. Yep. Okay, so we need to keep Green Green. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Yep. Whack you for six. That's pretty good. Yep. And then we'll attack with Flare. So that's ten damage unless he feels like chump blocking. Yeah, this deck is hard to play. I mean, there's is a lot of... Is about dispatching? No, okay. There's a lot of, um... I mean, it's very straightforward, the plan, but actually carrying it out is fairly difficult. You have to, And since it is five colors, you do have to really be careful that you're tapping your mana the right way, you're playing the right lands. I mean, just playing the wrong land on turn one can be the difference between winning and losing a game. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. All right, so we play Sun Petal Grove and Evison's Pilgrim. Well, maybe we don't play Evison's Pilgrim, because one way we lose this game is he just drops Tempered Steel next turn. And it's not like we need the Pilgrim for anything. Wait, so can I you hover over Worm Coil for a second? See? Are you satisfied? Yeah, I was just wondering how he gained life whenever he came to the battlefield. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Really? Yeah. That creature... Oh, that's right. Wow, I never noticed that before, since Worm Coil is the one dealing the damage. I always thought it was Flare of the Hatebound dealing the damage. Oh. No, we just gained, like, six lives. <laughs> wow. <coughs> wow, that's a nice little surprise. Yeah. Good. Abby the Hawkeyes. Well, I just noticed the life total move, and I was like, uh... Wow, very good. That was Thanks. awesome. Now he can drop his, uh... Alright, well, if he doesn't play anything else crazy, we'll just be ancient grudging the signal pest before he goes to combat. Okay. My little tricks and magic. Now he's activating Ink Moth. We're not especially worried about poison at this moment. Yeah, can hit us with poison. Well, it's two poison, so I gotta be careful with that. Yeah. Well, not anymore, anyways. Yeah, not right now. Alright, 
now you can attack. Which could destroy his land, too. Alright, so now we have to figure out... Okay, so <laughs> that makes it easier. So we can Faithless Looting and discard Flare, and then we can Unburial, unburial it, mm -hmm. and we can deal four... We'll do eight damage, because it'll be four for one trigger, <coughs> four for the other trigger, straight to him. And then we can attack, I suppose? Maybe. We'll have yeah, to block the crap out of us, though. Let's Faithless see what we draw. Uh, I don't think we need an Evolving Wilds. I don't think so. And I don't think we need an Avacyn's Wait, 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 were we going to put the Flare in the graveyard? Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> so if we, yeah, if we get the Flare... Flare in the... I'm just wondering, do we Flare, kill Memnite, and Mirror, and then he doesn't have Metalcraft? No, you just k kick him in the face, dude. Yeah, alright. He's down to ten, if we can yeah. hit him for eight and he's down to two, we can play Avacyn's Pilgrim next turn and he's dead. Well, we have to play it out of the graveyard. Oh, that that's true. Uh, well, we can just... I don't know. We'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll figure that out. We later. can mulch it away. That's, or we can mulch... Yeah, we can mulch into another Umburial Rites. Yeah. Either way, he's going down. And we'll attack with Flare of the Hatebound, so <coughs> he'll be forced to chump block it, or he can block it with that champion and lose ah, his spot. okay, never mind. All right, so he just lost. So yeah, what we were going to do is just obviously attack with Flare. He'd either chump block mm -hmm. it with a guy. His guy would lose Metalcraft at some point, and... Or he just, if this guy ever died, he would just lose, because when you have two flares that hate bound out, it triggers twice, obviously. So yeah, I mean, this deck, it, the deck showed its power. He got mana screwed round one, yep. but, I mean, round two. But it just shows you how careful you really have to be since we're playing five colors. But Yeah, you really gotta watch your back. But. It shows you how much fun it can be as well. It's yeah. really a fun deck. It goes really over the top with flares and warm coils and stuff. It's a lot of fun. I agree. All right, let's try again. Let's do it.